WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi folks, this is the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. market update on this uh, 8th of Wednesday, the 8th of December. The Dow's down 96 at 35,622 after making a new recovery high. We had anticipated from the low of the 200 period exponential moving average made at 34,000. And 22 on the 1st of December, that after four days of running strongly, there should be the fifth day should see either a little tiny doji candle um, and a, a reversal the following day, or today would see some kind of turnaround to negative. So spectacular moves you can you have to expect some kind of digestive phase now that makes the 35 it's a 35,690 that makes the 35,500 area key support a close under that says mm, now you've got to start assessing whether or not we can go much higher or whether we've, we've done everything for the moment and we have to wait for better news the S&P at this particular point is trading at uh, 4675 down 11 also made a new recovery high, very strong move. It needs to hold the 46 on a short-term basis, 46.68 area. If it closes under that, we'll have to reassess to see how much upside there is still left uh, because the MACD did not close positive, and that's kind of important in the daily chart. The QQQ is pulling back a little bit here, just down one at 396.79. Very good move. There's a lot going on. You can see that there are isolated stocks that are aspiring to the upside. Apple still looks good. It's also in the Dow. But at the same time, there are a lot of stocks that have been beaten down. So how the close comes in on Friday at, uh, at 4 for the weekly chart on the QQQ NDX 100 is going to be important. The small caps, meanwhile, try to rally earlier on. They're still actually holding the gains up one to playing catch up. But at 225, they're really need to get to the 227, 228 level to say, hey, we've got further to go on the upside. Gold is just kind of meandering. It's down uh, two at 1783. It just hasn't been able to find upside action. It's crude oil that we're going to be watching closely because it's had a fabulous move. It's even holding now up 11 cents at 72.16. If crude oil is able to get to the 73.80, 78, uh, 73.80, 425 area in the next two days that says you know what the low that was made just recently that could be a pretty uh, pretty good low for now and we're looking at the TLT which was pulling back earlier on now it's pulling back much more it's down a dollar 70 that means bonds are pulling back yields are going high so stay tuned you've got Larry Pesavento coming up wonderful show of course we've got Think or Swim, that's with Kevin Hanks. You've got Steve Rose, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien. Just fabulous shows coming up. Stay tuned for a really good market day. And what a day it's going to be. A very interesting session. Stay tuned. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks for being here.